Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woken. I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Hopefully my voice sounding a little bit better and I'm not coughing as much and I'm hopefully a little bit louder. <laughs> anyway, I'm here to talk about the JP version of the game. Because the JP version of the game has actually done... There's been a lot of just interesting stuff happening, so it's actually been nice to talk about it. I know I play NA only and I gotta look forward to a lot of this stuff in two years, but I always have fun talking about it, so that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment down below, tell me how you're feeling about any of the stuff um, they've announced, and to be honest, is there anything you want to see out of the Fago that you thought was impossible beforehand, but now it seems much more possible, because I actually feel like some of that stuff is happening now. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Subscribe, I guess. I forgot the last one. I always forget that last one. Anyway, so here's the crazy thing. Battle in New York is coming back. Which is Space Odyssey versus Nikola Tesla, Tesla, te what? Nikola Tesla. So that must mean that um, Edison is also probably coming back. But I mean, some people are like, oh, I, don't, <laughs> I think I saw one dude saying like, I'm so glad to see Tesla without any of the ACDC stuff around him, and I'm like, mm, wait till you see that banner. <laughs> oh wait, well actually, I think the banner might actually be here. Ah, uh, no, it's not. Not up yet. Uh, fun thing about the JPU side of the game. So, what's so interesting about this is that it, this is actually a battle in New York, which is a farming event, and you can't read it here because it's all, yeah, here it is. It's a lotto event, and it's currently March, and there's usually only two lotto events a year. So, what the hell? This is maybe the most weirdest <laughs> reveal ever to say, like, hey, Battle New York is coming back. It is still a lotto. And not only is it coming back, but um, it's with brand new characters in essence, because it's not Gilgamesh and it's not Ishtar, it is um, Odysseus and it is uh, Nikola Tesla. So really, really, really nice to actually have back the Lotto events. So if you don't know, Lotto events are basically the best time to be farming, because it's usually the best way to kind of grind up for material, like QP, uh, depending on the lotto, which we don't have access to this now because it was literally just announced. Um, good to farm for a lot of specific material because there's usually a lot of it in the lotto box and it's usually pretty easy to be honest. Like it's similar to the one we have currently with the male one where it's like, yeah, there's some story, but the main thing here is that you're just grinding and you're grinding for as much as you kind of want. Um, in Christmas, it's a little bit different because in Christmas, usually there's a unit inside the lotto that you need to get and you should get. But for stuff like Battle in New York and I guess Scuff Fest and some other ones, and Nero Fest, Guild Fest, stuff like that, um, the reason you grind lotto is just literally there's just material. And it sounds like there are also going to be challenge quests because there's also challenge quests during this and there will be the return of challenge quest, quest in this one. So no new, no new ones though, only the old ones from past events. So you can kind of <laughs> really beat them down, especially since there's a lot of power creep going on. Also, if you want to actually participate in this event, you need to at least beat uh, Anastasia Lost Belt 1. So yeah, really interesting. I kind of like it that it's two characters. Funny enough, one of the, out of both of these, Odysseus is the one that is non-limited and the other one that's limited is Nikola Tesla. I still don't know why Nikola Tesla is never limited. I know there's people that like Tesla as a person, but Odysseus is like one of the most famous hero in all of Greek mythology. It's the reason we have the word Odyssey is because of Odysseus. Like Ulysses is also a play on Odysseus. One of America's presidents is Ulysses S. Grant, and his name would come from all the way from this man right here. So, there's no doubt in my mind that maybe it's just because of my Greek bias that Odysseus is like 10 times more popular than Nikola Tesla. But also, Nikola Tesla was paid by David Bowie. So, maybe he's got a big fan. If you're a big fan of uh, Nikola Tesla, please tell me. Because I don't think I've ever met. I know um, Gay for Edison, he loves Thomas Edison. And he also, I guess, likes Nikola Tesla, because you kind of, they kind of go together in a lot of weird ways. Anyway, weird that this is happening now. I hope that means that there's probably more lotto events that are going to be happening throughout the year. Because um, like I said, they're the, really the best way to grind. The one thing I will say is that, unfortunately, it is not the best for new players if you're locking it behind um, 
being at least able to go up to the Lost Belt, but to be honest, it's very easy nowadays to get all the way to Lost Belt 1, because on the JP version of the game, I was able to do it with just basically Arjuna Alter friends, and that was it. <laughs> and I was able to basically beat all of the old uh, story stuff pretty damn easily, and that includes Camelot with a lot of its harder bosses, but maybe it's also because I knew a lot of the gimmicks, so I was able to kind of plan forward and stuff like that. But anyway, the other thing that's really interesting is actually related to this, the limited time road to seven Lost Belt number one. So they're kind of doing this thing where they're preparing for the next Lost Belt, so they're starting some kind of campaigns. And the cool thing about this campaign is that besides that, you know, um, I think, yeah, Ivan is getting his strengthening, I think, yeah, it's a servant enhancement quest, so that has to be a strengthening of some kind. I actually don't remember if they're getting their own banners. I think this is just half AP and stuff. Uh, fancy art. Ooh, nice art. Um, let me see. Yeah, they are getting a banner for this one. So, let me see. Let me see if there's more detail on here. There is not. Not yet. But you can see here the banner has Anastasia and stuff like that. You can get more copies of this CE specifically. I've never been able to get more than one. I think these are new ones. I don't know what any of the other ones kind of do, but it is nice to have um, Ivan be back because Ivan is one of the units that very rarely ever come back. I think he was one of the top ones. I think now most of the top two year plus servants that have never returned have made a return at this point. So that's very nice. But the cool thing here is, is what they're doing is for certain characters, the interludes, um, which are story bits that you need the actual unit to do, they're going to be available for you to just do. So the Ivan, like I said, Ivan is super rare, very hard to get. The only way to get his interlude is to actually have him, and then you would be able to get the clear reward, which would be his uh, buff here. But now they're making it so that if you have cleared Lost Belt number three, prologue intro three, four at least, you now have access to this interlude, and if you do it, then you get all the stuff from the interlude, and if you ever pull Ivan, then he will have his uh, strengthening, basically. He will have his uh, Noble Phantasm strengthen. They're going to do this for Anastasia. For, it looks like two of the Anastasia interludes are going to be open. The Atlanta, Ar the, the Atlanta Alter one, the Avisa Bron, and the Saliari one. It's especially nice for Saliari because he is a limited three. So unless you're specifically pulling on a banner that has him in it, chances are you don't have him. Obviously, most people will have a Visebron. It's not hard to get him. <laughs> He's not limited. Atlanta Altar is a four star. And believe it or not, now that they have not released the four star ticket in a very long time, I actually think that some four stars are actually pretty hard to get. This one, like for example, Atlanta Altar is not just on a lot of banners. So you have to really pray and hope that you get him. And Anastasia is a non-limited SSR, but an SSR is still extremely hard to get, regardless of anything. So, and some of these um, requirements are pretty fair. Like, obviously, Ivan is pretty high up there, but Anastasia, clear Lost Belt 1, fair enough. Clear the first section of the curtain and clear Lost Belt number 3, okay, similar to Ivan. But for Atlanta Alter, all you need to do is clear Singularity F. Uh, Visa Braun, clear Lost Belt number 3, Prologue Intro 3-4. Actually, why is only Atlanta Alter just Singularity F? <laughs> and all the other ones... I, that, is there really anything in Lost Belt 3 that involves all of them? Maybe it, you know what it is, because a lot of these Lost Belts kind of have to... Um, might also deal with story stuff, so they're kind of like, we don't want to spoil you the story, so make sure by this point you've gotten that at least, and you'll be able to do it. I think that's the reasoning behind it. So for Atlanta Alter, for example, there's probably not much story stuff. So they're just like, yeah, just clear Singularity F and you'll get some lore dump about her and that's nice. The reason I like this is that I think that really opens the idea up to, I think this is just should be in general. Like the fact that this is a limited time, I think is the worst thing about it. Otherwise, I think that this is a fan fucking tastic idea oh my god for example Sherazade has an amazing interlude if you don't know this on the jp side of the game when Sherazade released because of one sentence that she said she was basically considered the worst character in the entire game it was super hated to the point where 
Um, she wasn't even able to win the summer heat race once with Naito as her partner. Like, there was just an extreme X Pac levels of heat on her. They just did not like her. So, what they did is that for starting with, I think, like, for example, the summer event, they started to basically dial back on a lot of things that people didn't like. Um, and summer event helps a little bit with her personality and stuff like that. So, you can get to know her a little bit more. Um, but the interlude itself is basically was their way of saying, we know we fucked up with that one sentence because it, the, her actions in her specific story in Agartha are her actions. But the thing she says really rubbed people the wrong way. And I'm not going to say what it is. If you want to say down in the comments and you want to know, I will tell you. I'm not saying it because it's a spoiler. So no it's tied to that <laughs> if you've beaten the um never mind i won't say anything more but it is a spoiler that's why i'm not saying it but anyway they released an interlude um basically fixing uh their mistake and it was basically a sorry for doing this and it was i've read it because i have Sherzade and i did it and i actually think it's one of the best interludes out there it's one of the longest interludes out there but it's a fantastic interlude very well done um and not a lot of people can read it because Sherzade is a five star and she is a one of the ones that are always in the banner but that does not mean that she's super easy to get you have to kind of hope and pray that she spooks you and unfortunately not a lot of people are hoping and praying that Sherzade spooks them even though I think at this point I think a lot of her initial heat has died down and more people are like yeah Sherzade I love Sherzade or I like Sherzade or giant thick chocolate waifu whichever way you want to approach that so i like the idea of them finally opening this up and letting other people experience that story because i think the best parts in fago are one characters and two the actual story <laughs> so it's always rubbed me the wrong way that a lot of story was locked behind interludes that required you to have a very specific unit to do so i'm glad that they've started to just a little bit starting for a limited time like i said this for a limited time um, I'm just glad that, that the conversation has started. And I really never thought that this would happen. And I think since the change from Lasagna, uh, DW, Rip, Rip Bozo, Rip DW, new friend Lasagna, Lasagna keeping shit nice. And so far, I think they've been doing a pretty damn good job. Not, uh, kind of slowly making the game just much better of where it needs to be. Because I think it's fair to say the people who love Fago, which I am one of them, um, can and should admit that there are parts of the games that are just like lacking in a lot of departments. So, and the some of the, to be fair, some of the stuff that they introduce, <laughs> such as the pity, where it's real dumb that certain aspects of the pities are built the way it is. But if we can keep sending them feedback and telling them that the fact that this window is open and that they're willing to do this means that eventually we can convince them to make it better as well. And I think that's better than where we were previously which was basically just waiting for anniversary and hoping to god that some good new feature was coming because now it seems like they care a lot more because it's a new company and stuff like that at least that is the current feeling i am getting and maybe it's just because i have a weird glasses on this but that's what i'm currently feeling and i don't also want to disparage any of the people who actually worked on the game i know a lot of the time it was the actual people who work on fago do their best it's the people who own fate that are the bastards <laughs> that has always been my understanding of it so the the developers of the game kind of have to deal with the hand that they got and they have to deal with the people who own fate and stuff like that which was the light works and now things are a little bit different because now lasagna owns everything so yeah that's what my current feelings are and that's all i wanted to you get this is why i want to talk about it so that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for listening if you made it this far. Again, if you want to tell me what you feel about any of the stuff that I talked about, feel free. Always like reading what other people have to say. Occasionally report, uh, talking back. But sometimes if I don't really feel the need to say anything, but I, I still read everything. Don't worry about it. Uh, that's it. So yeah, good night, everyone. Good, or good morning, depending on where you're from, because I always record these super late at night, but then I release them <laughs> midday, I think. Not midday, early in the morning. So good day, good night, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.